actually, when I look back at it on film, it didn't even look that much different than I thought, but I knew it felt different. I mean, Delaware argues calls on the defensive end when they're up 20, 25 points in the yeah. fourth quarter. So, like, those are good signs if you're an NBA team looking at a more consistent on the jump shot because drives like that maybe not so easy in the NBA level. Yeah, just 29% from three this season as they get a three back from Anthony Mapp. Locked in a team is and how locked in those guys are, even if the game is a blowout. Yeah, and you know, maybe a big three by math is there as they try to get going. No lead is safe. You don't expect the fun to stop anytime soon. Yeah. Delaware last game had a big lead against Greenboro, I believe it was, and they came back. Now, that was Paul Reed being in foul trouble. Hasn't hit a three yet today. That's surprising. Yeah, we got a whole nother quarter to go. It can happen. <laughs> Mathis, another three, and it is getting him going for sure. Mathis. Mathis, a deep three. Just being ultra aggressive and letting the Delaware bench know about it. Oh, yeah. Interested in slowing the clock down or anything like that. It's just 48 minute mentality for them. Mathis hits a three. Floater on the baseline is good, falling away and knocking it down. Frazier throws it away. Two on one. And one for Mathis. Has the number on his chest and back, 32 points. Yeah, well, you got 30. I mean, you get it in transition, just one on one.